Well, you've said many things, and I don't know from where to start. Obviously, I don't uh, agree with you in saying that there are two peoples in Cyprus. I feel that uh, um, we are a human beings living in a territory uh, that we should accept as our own, and that we should find ways uh, of uh, being able to live together in yes, peace and yes, harmony. I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, I, I'll go back to something you said about Mr. Kliridis, that he declared that um, we are a minority in this region. Of course, uh, I'm sure uh, in saying that uh, he meant that after the Turkish invasion or what you call uh, your peaceful mission, obviously something that uh, finds us um, uh, completely uh, in, in, in opposite uh, directions, is that um, yes, after the Turkish invasion in Cyprus and um, having 35 or more thousand Turkish troops here, um, uh, we have become a minority and actually I don't want to come into this round because I want to come into who is feeling insecure because you're all the time throwing at us that uh, no, I want the Turkish support and I want the Turkish um, guarantees because uh, this is the only way we feel um, that we can feel safe from the threat of the Greeks yeah. uh, because we are a minority. Again, we're moving very really fast. I want to take things <laughs> easy. I want to go back uh, to, to sort of uh, a time that the personal tragedy sort of, uh, sh I'm, I'm sure, shakes you and it would uh, really shake anybody. I know you're highly religious, and I know obviously that in these tragic moments uh, you, you became even more. When you think of God, Mr. Nektaj, how do you see him? Do you see him as an old man with a white beard? And uh, what do you think? Who told you that you had a golden mouth? <laughs> 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 because you are, you know. They don't say yeah. the golden mouth, they usually say I talk too much. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, how do I think of God? I think God, God, God is everywhere. He is not an old man, he is not a, he is, he is in your conscience. He is your conscience, he is uh, your religion teaching you to be kind to people, uh, to be truthful, uh, not to steal, not to do things, as all religions inculcate. That is God talking to you. So if you if you accept his existence, and then uh, that he is uh, always watching you, as he is watching us, I hope now, uh, then then you are afraid of uh, doing something terribly terribly wrong because uh, he will punish you. Do you abide by your conscience? Do you follow what your uh, instinct and conscience tells you? Well, uh, I think uh, the test is this: uh, when you go to bed at night, if you don't roll and roll until uh, you come, uh, you, you, you sleep. If you shut your eyes and say, I have done my work today and let us hope it will be better tomorrow, I have done no wrong to anyone, uh, knowingly, wantingly, so uh, help me God and you sleep immediately then uh, I think uh, you do things by your conscience, but and that is what I do. Otherwise, it is impossible to carry on this This is another contradiction, is the uh, third one I sort of picked up today. Uh, Mr. Natasha, you are, by profession, an archon, you're a leader. You are uh, uh, actually, right now, you're one of the most powerful people in Cyprus, in the sense that uh, you do control my future, the future of my children, and the future of your grandchildren, everybody's lives. Um, to be able to go to bed at night feeling that you've done your job properly uh, and to differentiate your feelings, uh, to uh, separate these feelings from decisions made that could perhaps create another battlefield that lives will be lost, I find it hard to accept. Explain to me. Uh, uh, that is, that is uh, where you go wrong because you asked me whether I was a democratic man, uh, whether I believe in democracy. Well, I am not the powerful president as Mr. Kredis is on his side. This is not a presidential regime. I have to go through the uh, government decision which has to go through the parliamentary control and decisions and we are more democratic in that sense. But of course uh, I have my views and I have my strong views and so on. But again I say my first duty is to prevent uh, any harm being done to my people. Mr. Nathash, I'm, not talking about, sorry, I'm not talking about titles, I'm talking about power. Yes. Um, uh, you may have a title uh, uh, and it means nothing, but you have the power right now in your hands. You, by, unless, of course, uh, I'm, I'm totally mistaken and other people make decisions, and like uh, <coughs> myself, uh, you have to dance to the, to the music that other people play. 
No, that is wrong. That is very wrong. Uh, whatever uh, your relations or Mr. Chris's relations are with Greece, where he goes uh, and comes and they organize things together. Uh, agreements uh, not acceptable under the 1960 treaties are made and so on. I mean, those relations uh, on the other side are looked as normal, but our relations with our guarantor, Turkey, our motherland, are always looked as, uh, as we look at them. So let us leave that aside. There is a problem which we want to settle. We have put forward federation. Federation was seemingly accepted in 1977 by Makarios. We are in 1996, and we have not yet been able to come to a federation. You say, because of the conditions I have put. But I have made uh, several appeals to Mr. Kredis. Come and let us talk. It doesn't matter whether, whether we talk politics or, or whether we have coffee and we live as we used to in the past. And we, an atmosphere of trust was created. These people are talking, so we shall have a settlement. Mr. Nakash, but he asking, doesn't come. What you're asking is not a, a federal solution. Uh, and please correct me if I'm wrong. What you're asking is autonomy. You're asking to separate Cyprus in two uh, parts. You're asking to have uh, total control on your side. You're asking to have a say on the other side. And you're asking for the right in the future to completely dismantle this federal, in quotation marks, solution and go your own way. And this is perhaps your that plan. Is that and is that's wrong. why the Greeks are so skeptical, because it has been your ambition, it has been your dream since 1956 to separate Cyprus. That's why they don't trust no, you. No, this is, this is wrong again. Uh, when we say uh, Swiss-like sovereignty, we also ask you to look at Switzerland and tell us whether Switzerland is six or eight or ten, whatever it is, different countries, because cantons have their own sovereignty, and they have their full autonomy, and they uh, take care of the central government also. So, and, and we say about this fear that we shall run away with uh, independence if this autonomy, this uh, Swiss-like sovereignty is recognized. Our answer to that is this. Had this been our uh, aim, would we insist on the treaties of guarantee and alliance which prohibit, utterly prohibit, any such movement? It says you will respect Cyprus's uh, independence, in that case the federal indep independence. So uh, who is running away from guarantees which would prevent running away with the sovereignty of Cyprus, Greek Cypriot side, which feels that they have already run away with it, that it is theirs. That is the problem. But if you insist uh, on having uh, the guarantees only of Turkey, um, if, if I were to throw at you, Mr. Nektash, would you accept uh, the Americans as the guarantors? No. Would you uh, accept the, the NATO uh, organization? Well, I'll say, tell you this. I am not insisting that Turkey only becomes the guarantor. I am How do saying, you see this? I am saying the guarantee system of 1960 should continue. That the, system, the, guarantee that, system of, make, sorry, Mr. Yes. the guarantee system of 1960 brought us the catastrophe of today. No. Uh, it, it showed that it was not the right uh, move. It showed that uh, the fact that one country had the authority to intervene uh, brought this catastrophe. Perhaps if there were other countries involved in supporting uh, the guarantees uh, of, of the whatever the solution of Cyprus was in the in 1960s, uh, we'd, we wouldn't have had a war. We would have found a solution to our problems, but not without having to kill and be killed. Now, this guarantee system has been there since 1960. It's not a good one, I'm it, saying. Just a minute. It, uh, the, the troubles started in 1963. The Nicosia Turks were almost finished by the fifth day. And Turkey sent two planes over Nicosia, and it is only then that we had the Green Line Agreement, only then. So guarantee system worked for the purpose it was created. We're getting into very deep waters, obviously, and I like this. Uh, but we'll need to take a break again. Chris uh, Kikri, minute mazi mas, tamas tike bali mazi selig. Mr. Dukhtash, um, somebody told me that um, when you lose your composure and get angry, you're more vulnerable. What can I say to make you angry? 
tell me that uh, Cyprus is Greek. <laughs> 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 no, I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you that a lot of your critics say that besides the fact that they accept that you're a very clever man, a very capable politician, uh, they characterize you with um, words as uh, you're very cynical, you're very arrogant, you're very mean, you're a hardline politician. Do you accept these characterizations? No. I don't. I uh, laugh at myself. I like laughing at myself, uh, sometimes caricaturing myself even. Uh, Actually, you know, I mean, saying that, I, 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 I kind of, now that I've met you, it's the second time we meet, I kind of like you, and I'm wondering whether uh, I'm doing something wrong or whether uh, the fact remains that maybe like me, you're also a puppet uh, being handled and manipulated by the gods of power around the world, and that uh, maybe you shame in the pain and the agony that I have. Uh, maybe you're not the top politician that I, I believe that you are. I haven't got uh, the characteristics of a puppet. I am a very independent man. And uh, I think I have proved this uh, all through my you know, life. No, the reason I said that is the question really is, are you the sole decision maker on the Cyprus issues or do you take orders by Turkey? Uh, we don't take orders by Turkey. Uh, we have a joint problem with Turkey because Turkey has an interest in Cyprus. That's why the 9th and 6th agreements were made the way uh, they were made. The Treaty of Guarantee is not merely our guarantee, it also guarantees the rights of Turkey in Cyprus. And we want it to be so. So uh, this is a uh, joint venture, joint problem. And there have been times when what we wanted to be done was not done uh, because Turkey would not go along with it. And what we wanted to be done was more drastic. For example, leave the talks, don't talk, close the doors and say to the Greeks, when you make up your minds that we are a partner also, then let us talk. And Turkey wouldn't allow that. It is not taking orders from Turkey. It is uh, sitting and considering the things together and saying, well, you are right, we, we should not do this. So in other words, we are on par with the Greek Cypriot side on its relations with Greece. And no, no, nothing less, nothing more. Uh, this should be understood. Let me come back to the... Um, <coughs> and here in Cyprus, within Cyprus, as I told you, I am not the president in a presidential regime to decide and to have it done. I have to go through the government, which has to go through the parliament, and therefore we have... As far as we're concerned, we don't accept you anyway. So, I mean, but, let's not... Uh, get into this. So we're asking you now, why not include America, or even better, why not include the NATO countries in which Pact Turkey is a member? Now, uh, the army, Turkish army, which frightens you, say, will leave the moment we have an agreement. And therefore, the constant threat to what you call the minority or numerically less partner, Turkish Cypriots, the constant threat of your numerical superiority will continue to be. So we want a workable, effective guarantee, and that is what 1960 guarantee is about. Don't you trust the uh, Americans? It, it, the it, it is not a question of trust. Uh, Turkey had to consult with two guarantors before intervening. And even then, it took them more than a week to intervene in Cyprus. And if we have ten guarantors to, 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 to consult before intervening, by that time we may be finished off. In looking back all the time and trying to sort of find the scars of the past and the, and the mistakes of the past on both sides, if you're a fair man, you do not go even further back and find that, let's say in the case of the Second World War, not to go to the First World War, we had countries such as Germany and England and France uh, destroying each other completely. And now they're partners. They work hand in hand. Exactly, yes. So instead of, if we are to learn from our mistakes, if we, we are to learn from the weaknesses of the past, why cannot we allow ourselves to be taught a few things? That if we stop this mistrust between us, we could find ways, like other people have done, and Germans and the English and the French are not the only ones. We have the example, uh, the most recent one, of Vietnam. The Americans and the Vietnamese people had one of the bloodiest warships. Uh, and yet, uh, a few months ago, a year ago, they uh, found a way to live together. And it's a historical fact that all the struggles, all the wars, end up around the table. Why can we not 
find our solutions before we go into another bloody war. Well, uh, in all the examples you have given, including France and Germany, which are very vital, uh, what happened? One abandoned the idea of uh, claiming territory from the other. They both recognized each other's equality, sovereignty, and they agreed to enter into an equal agreement in which the one, went, one would not dominate the other. They went back other. to their boundaries, Mr. Then, because you have yes, created they changed new the boundaries. You are created you have created by force, by an invading army, new boundaries, and you are no, asking no, no, us no, to no, accept no. the sovereignty no, of, no. Of, of a land that is, is, is ours. No, no. We did not create the boundary. The boundary indicates the place where we stopped Greece and Greek Cypriot elements from taking over a partnership state. I, I think I, I've just let myself uh, do something I, I promised myself not to do, uh, which is uh, get in an arena with you and then try and find uh, political uh, answers to um, sort of uh, tormenting questions. Anyway, let me just throw off your, uh, off your balance, if I could, and get back to my strategy, which is um, about your personal life. I want to get to the real Raouf de Tash, uh, not the politician, because suddenly I lost you there. Talk to me about your hobbies. I know you love birds. Well, I have birds. I love them. Uh, and I regret uh, the times when I was uh, following them with a shotgun and shooting them, you know. You were a hunter? I, were, I was a hunter. Not anymore? Years. No, no. I, for 10, 12 years now, I sold uh -huh. my guns. And I don't uh, go. But uh, birds, uh, in, in the Quran, there is a short passage which says, uh, watch the mosquito and think why it was created the wonders of god what it yes. can do i watch the birds and i thank god for these beautiful things that uh, god has created for us mm -hmm. to enjoy to make life all the more pleasant uh, for us and what what have we done so many thousand guns on that side so many thousand shotguns on this side and we have no partridges anymore to sing around our forests. And we have no birds, really, which can come with joy into our gardens and things. Everything is, is being destroyed. I think we should have a ban on uh, shooting for four or five years and help to multiply these birds inside. I will enhance this by saying not only take the guns away from the hunters, take the guns away from the armies. But that is, that is, that is what is going to be when we have a settlement. But we have to have a settlement, we have to have visionality, we have to have the guarantees, we have to be recognized as what, for what we are, a co-founder partner. In all the examples you gave me, including the Palestinians, they recognize each other. Don't forget this. Okay, I, I, I will just let this but go, because again, I'll find myself in a, in yeah. a, in a discussion. Let me just uh, touch on something that I just felt coming out of you. Once I start... Um, I mentioned the birds and you started talking about this hobby and your love for the birds. I found a kind of gentleness sort of emitting from you, an aura of kindness. And if I were to sort of um, agree with you that uh, Dektash is not the, the mean, and can I use an American phrase, son of a bitch, people think he is. Um, if I were to say that you are gentle and that you are kind and that you are humane, Let's come to a very humane issue that has nothing to do with politics, it has nothing to do with uh, armies, it has nothing to do, um, it has to do with people and human feelings. And these are the missing people on both sides, Mr. Netash. I saw an interview where Mr. Dikliridis said, yes, we both, and maybe I'm wrong in quoting, I'm not quoting, I'm just getting the general feeling. I accept that... Um, we are both to blame. Let us open the graves and find out the identities of the dead. Yeah. So that if there's still people alive, we can go back to their families and tell them, your children are dead or your children perhaps are still alive. Why are you so adamant in allowing an independent committee to look into such a personal, humane issue? But there is an independent committee which has been afoot for 12 years to which we have brought evidence 
that so and so was seen by two witnesses killed. And the uh, Greek Cypriot side refuses to take their names off the list of missing persons, and they refuse the committee uh, to inform the families that the evidence is this. Do you still want further uh, follow up, or don't you? This is very important. Then, at the beginning, when the committee started, I said, let us publish the lists of missing persons. Some people may be in Australia, some people may be in Canada. So both sides, let us publish the, the, the whole list, and they rejected it. Until uh, we made very strong representations to the Secretary General, and the Secretary General gave a dateline. 1st of January, all lists must be given. All the dossiers must be given. It is only then that Mr. Kredis came forward, had to, to say that we knew 400, he said, then 250 people were dead for so many years, but we did not disclose it. Could and you had all the difficulty uh, within yourselves. Yeah. Is this the way to uh, uh, attack this uh, but problem? Let me ask you. But may, I, may, may I finish? Sure. Now, <coughs> then what I said to the Greek side is this. Uh, we have uh, Mrs. Katzeli's uh, memoirs, we have uh, Papa Tsetso's uh, cemetery priest's statement, uh, we have other uh, statements in the press to the effect that we saw during the coup people killed and buried. Uh, this uh, cemetery priest saying they, they used to bring them in lorries and without identification I buried them at gunpoint. I asked Mr. Kridis, I asked Kipriano, I asked Vasiliu, have you taken up these people to identify who they are? If you haven't, how can you say that 1,600 people are missing? If you don't know who was buried there, how, 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 how can you um, complain to the world that 600 people are missing from your side? First, take these people up, clean your shit, tell your people these are the people killed during the coup, and then tell us where these people were buried by the coupists in the north, so that we give you permission to take them out but also. The suggestion of just a minute. No, no, just a minute. <coughs> so that when we start opening graves, when the time comes for opening graves, we will know that the remaining are from 20th uh, July onwards. With, without clearing this thing, it is impossible. Everybody that comes out from this side will be looked upon as, ah, Turks have killed it. And this is the propaganda they intend to make. So if they are really interested in this, I say, first, dig out the common graves done during the coup and tell the world and tell your people these are it and these are the people. And let us look at the list. It is, it is, it is a shame, really, to play with the suffering of these families by pretending that there are people working in Turkey and they won't write here and they don't come here or they have married Turkish girls and they, they have forgotten Cyprus. Having said all that, Mr. Mutaj, <coughs> this is actually uh, exactly the point I want to come to. And, you know, again, uh, I'm facing uh, Viraf Tintash, the leader of the Turkish side, the tough politician. I want you to sort of look deep into your heart. And uh, because there are mothers right now watching us, uh, in the hope they may hear something uh, from your mouth uh, that perhaps we give them the 